Well, I'm through security at Sydney Airport traveling to Melbourne for day one of Come From Away. I've had a really lovely couple of weeks off, which I'm very grateful for. It's frustrating on one hand because, of course, you don't get paid when you have weeks off if it's between contracts, but um, it was really nice to actually have legitimately no excuse to do any work on Come From Away apart from stuff that I wanted to. So I had a really lovely time. James took me to the airport. I'm traveling at a much more reasonable time today. So I'm going to find my gate and then go get some water and get on the plane to Melbourne. One of the hardest things about getting here was parking. We had to go all the way to the top of the car park. Um, I am feeling a little bit more confident about COVID having had it since last time. Um, and so I have opted to not wear a mask except when I get on the plane. Um, I figure, you know, a lot, enough people are vaccinated. I'm testing daily. I've had the disease recently and no one else is wearing a mask. So this is where we live in now. Very different to when I last traveled when I was actually quite fearful. But now there's heaps of people at the airport and all the shops are open, which is lovely. Well, 20 minutes until boarding and I have already found two nice things at the airport. One is the power of geography, which is about a series of different countries and why, well, I don't see what's happening with them and some sparkling water. So I'm gonna go wait at the terminal now. Turns out I'm here early for no reason and it's now delayed. So I'm gonna sit down and read my book. I've safely touched down in Melbourne. I'm trying to find the taxis. It seems like you have to walk around the entire airport block just to find the taxis. I have just enough time to get to the hotel, dump my bags, have some lunch and grab some dinner, I think, and then go straight into bumping in for four hours, which is not great. Like that extra half hour would have been nice, but delays. That's exciting. Probably never get to see it, but yay. It's such a big deal. I've got this like 12 seater taxi. I think my bags are too big to go in a normal taxi. Anyway, it's a bit much. Riding the lift up really, really high. This is my room. So we have an induction stove, a microwave, a fridge, and an oven, and a dishwasher, very important. Lots of art on the walls weird abstract art there's a mustard theme going on this is the view from the sitting room which is actually very beautiful i don't know what that round thing is but that looks really nice and people are far enough away that they can't really see in so that's excellent a giant mirror big bed and a study, which is actually very useful. Oh, and another television to watch in bed. Hey, hey, oh, where's the bathroom? Here. This is the bathroom. Oh, no bath, but excellent shower. Weird thing, what's in here? Ah, oh, laundry. That's good. Go back into the main room. It's kind of like a little actual apartment. This is the sweetest thing. When I arrived, there were these beautiful flowers that are from the stage management team. Thanks guys. It's so cheerful. Look how beautiful these are. Because we're a long stay, they also gave me things to eat. And wine, which I'll probably cook with. Look, it's a very dark day, it's very wet and horrible, but um, I'm now walking up to the theatre and if I see something to eat along the way, I will eat it. Um, I'm curious to see how sheltered the walk is, it's not great. I've spotted the theatre. It looks so pretty. It looks like such an old building. You're good at 
So this is our little theatre. This back of house is amazing. It's such an old theatre. It's creaky, it's got like crooked corners. I'm loving it. This is the best investment I have ever made. It makes me so much happier to have a bed that is not brown.